Hi everyone, Shane here with RepairDesk. Today we are going to help you set up your Dymo Label Writer 450 on a Mac for use with RepairDesk. The printer is our recommended choice for printing professional looking labels for your repair store. Let's get started with the setup process. First you will need to unbox and connect your printer to your PC and power with provided cables following the directions. Then install the roll of labels, 99012 is the recommended label for RepairDesk. Remember that Google Chrome is the recommended browser for RepairDesk on a Mac. Please install if you haven't. Next you'll need to install the drivers for your Dymo printer on the system that you want to use it with. You can visit Dymo.com, click on support, and then download software and drivers. Click on the link for the Mac Dymo label, version 8.7.3. Now that it has downloaded, let's go to downloads and select the file. Select the file to start install and select continue. Continue again. Continue again. Scroll down on the license agreement and select continue. Click agree and install. You may have to enter your password to continue. Once finished, select continue and close. Next we're going to head over to the repair desk software. Click on store settings from the menu and select tickets under the module configuration setting. From here you'll be able to choose your labels design under the ticket label template option. You can choose either the default style or professional. Here we will make sure that professional is selected and save. Now let's head over to the label size in the sidebar. From here you can adjust the width and the height of both your label and the barcode printed on it. The default sizes are visible here. We recommend that you adjust these values to 93, 28, 93, and 28 and click save changes. You can also adjust these to your liking. If you'd like to change the information that appears on your label, you can visit the template editor from the sidebar. Go to Ticket Label Template and select Edit. From here you'll be able to customize your layout to however you want it to appear. Now that you have your label printer set up, it's time to print some labels. From the top bar, go to Repairs, select Manage Ticket, Go to the ticket that you want to print a label for. Click Ticket Label from the drop down menu. Now click on the Print Label button and you should see your label displayed as a PDF. You can then choose to print this label with your Dymo Label Writer 450 by clicking the Print button or pressing Ctrl P on your keyboard. Now make sure paper size is set to 30321 large address and that scale is set to fit to page on your initial print. The preferred label is 99012 but you will have to select 30321 for it to print properly. And now you can select print. Now that you've printed a ticket label it is time to print an inventory label. From the top bar, go to Inventory, select Manage Inventory, and select Mobile Accessories and Parts. Go to the item that you want to print a label for and select the Action drop down menu and Print Barcode, and you should see your label displayed as a PDF. You can then choose to print this label with a Dymo Label Writer 450 by clicking the Print button or pressing Ctrl P on your keyboard. 
and then click on print. And that's it. We hope this guide helps you in setting up your Dymo label printer to print some great labels for your business. If you own a cell phone or computer repair shop and are looking for a high quality point of sale software to keep track of repair jobs, stay on top of inventory, look no further, and sign up for free. Or if you have any questions, please, please feel free to contact the Repair Desk team at support at repairdesk.co. Have a good one.